Welcome to the wonderful world of old sheet music. I'm your host, Nicholas Carroll. Tonight I am looking at this piece, which has a very interesting cover because instead of saying what piece it is, very large, it just says Piano Compositions by Russian Composers, Second Series. And then it has a big list, and it has just this arrow that tells you which one you are actually holding. So this is the Antony Liadal, and it is a Volts Badinge. I don't know how to say that. And uh, it is Unitabite Music on the inside, and it is a Volts. That means it's a Volts, and it is by a Russian composer, obviously, since it's said on the front. But for those of you who don't know, uh, this guy, that's the wrong side, this guy, um, Anatoly Liadal was often included in the, quote, Mighty Five, sometimes called the Mighty Fistful of Russian composers in the late 1800s. This piece is composed in 1898. This particular version that I have, this sheet music, is from 1925. It is definitely in good shape for that it is faded and all the things you expect but there's no markings on it i don't think anybody ever played it there's no indication of any fingering uh and it's in decent shape so that tells me that probably no one ever played it on the back we have three fancies for piano by oli speaks which is advertised just as melodious and captivating as are the songs by this favorite among American posers, wood nymphs, dancing fawns, song without words. So that would have been a Tim Pan Alley type person that, I mean, Ovi Speaks is almost certainly a pseudonym for somebody else. This was really common in that time period in Tim Pan Alley to make up names so that you could put out more music and people wouldn't know it was the same person. So anyway, Let's see what this sounds like. I do not know it, though that he is a somewhat famous composer. Uh, I'm not really very familiar with many of his work. I am not familiar with this one at all, that's for sure. It has a very fascinating uh, tempo marking, which is Otto Macantamente. There we go, I got to focus on that. Otto Matacamente. So automatically in an interesting uh, te tempo mark I've never seen before. So anyway, it's marked pianissimo and it's a waltz and I've never played it before. So I'm not going to go super fast. It does say 80, so I think that will be appropriate even though it's a weird tempo mark.
so they have it. So now after playing it, I can understand where the uh, auto mente comes from, since it does sound very much like a uh, wind up music box or something like that would be playing it. Um, <clears throat> some sort of early musical device. Like there's a lot of these really old automatic instruments that were really popular at that time and it's probably trying to imitate that. Perhaps it was even meant to be played by one of those automated instruments. I'm very suspicious of that based on the way it's written out. You know, it has all these super high notes. Some of them are not really very feasible for a, a piano to play. Like some of these things, it's not that a pianist couldn't learn that if they weren't sight reading it, but they don't fit your <clears throat> they don't fit your hand very well, which is uncommon. Which makes you think it was probably um, some kind of automatic device, you know, kind of like a computer. Now would be able to do that very easily, but a human being would have to uh, think a lot about the fingering to make that actually work out, which you really can't tell unless you're looking at it super closely and trying to play it yourself. Um, <clears throat> but that's my feeling on it. I didn't do a lot of research on it, but it makes me think that it was something similar to uh, Mozart's musical clock uh, pieces. So, anyway, decent decent piece of music my only complaint about it again and I think I said this on one of the other things which was it which is an editing thing probably not the composer uh it was very you know basically just repeated the same thing two times and instead of just putting a repeat sign they printed it twice in a row so um if I was going to perform this and actually like learn it up better I would probably not play the entire thing twice uh and just know like okay I'm going to stop on the first repetition just to make it less boring.